Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, Ltd. was a shipbuilding company based at Barrow in Furness, Cumbria in northwest England that built warships, civilian ships, submarines and armaments. The company was historically the naval construction works of Vickers Armstrongs and has a heritage of building large naval warships and armaments. Through a complicated history the company's shipbuilding division is now Bay Systems Submarine Solutions and the armaments division is now part of Bay Systems Land and Armaments. Topic history The company was founded in 1871 by James Ramsden as the Iron Shipbuilding Company, but its name was soon changed to Barrow Shipbuilding Company. In 1897, Vickers and Sons bought the Barrow Shipbuilding Company and its subsidiary, the Maxim Nordenfeldt Guns and Ammunition Company, becoming Vickers, Sons and Maxim, Ltd. The shipyard at Barrow became the Naval Construction and Armaments Company. In 1911 the company was renamed Vickers Limited, and in 1927 became Vickers Armstrongs Limited after a merger with Armstrong Whitworth, whose shipyard at High Walker on the River Tyne became the Naval Yard. In 1955 the name of the shipbuilding division changed to Vickers Armstrongs Shipbuilders, Limited and changed again in 1968 to Vickers Limited Shipbuilding Group. The shipbuilding group was nationalized under the Aircraft and Shipbuilding Industries Act in 1977 and subsumed into British shipbuilders. The ex Vickers Yard at Barrow was the first shipyard of the British Shipbuilders Group to return to the private sector. It was sold in March 1986 to an employee led company, VSEL Consortium, which also included its Birkenhead based subsidiary, Camel Laird. The company was floated on the London Stock Exchange in December 1986. In 1988, a mistake by senior management and changing shipbuilding methods meant that the Vickers shipyard in Barrow in Furness accidentally welded part of HMS Triumph a nuclear submarine in an upside-down position. In 1994 VSEL was subject to two takeover proposals, one from GEC and another from British Aerospace Bay. VSEL was willing to participate in a merger with a larger company to reduce its exposure to cycles in warship production, particularly following the «Options for Change» defense review after the end of the Cold War. Both bids were referred to the Monopolies and Mergers Commission MMC, which issued its conclusions and advice to government in May 1995. Bay's bid was approved, while the MMC concluded with two of six members dissenting that GEC's bid was likely to operate against the public interest. However, it was GEC's bid that was approved and accepted by VSEL, since Secretary of State Michael Heseltine did not accept the MMC's recommendation and allowed the bid to proceed. Following GEC's purchase, VSEL became Marconi Marine, VSEL, part of the company's GEC Marconi division. With the merger of British Aerospace and GEC's defence business, Marconi Electronics Systems, VSEL passed to the resulting company, Bay Systems as part of Bay Systems Marine. In 2003 it became an independent division known as Bay Systems Submarines after Bay Systems split its ship and submarine building operations. This was renamed Bay Systems Submarine Solutions in January 2007. Topic. Ships built by VSEL Topic. See also Port of Barrow